Hey guys, and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve, and again, we're doing another unboxing kind of today. I've already unboxed them, so you don't get to see the boxes or anything, but just a quick view of what is coming to the channel. This one sent from the Seagull Official Store. Really cool, kind of a, a sage green, minty green with an orange second hand. I think it looks pretty cool, and it is very nicely done. Full review for that will be coming in the next month or so i guess i got a bunch of watches i need to review uh the big one for today though and the reason why i'm doing this is because of this watch so if you guys aren't aware this is the roland speedy tv i'm not really sure what to call it i don't know the model number off the top of my head uh, i got this one on i got it sized up for my seven and a half inch wrist that's how it looks i think it looks really cool uh, and we will go into a little bit more detail here in just a second so um, i'm going to take it off wrist and we'll talk about the clasp first. So here's the clasp. I believe it's just an off-the-shelf clasp. Um, I didn't see any pictures of it online, so there it is. I think it goes pretty good with this. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I've definitely seen this clasp on um, some uh, Seamaster homages. Um, so double pushers, milled enters, nice tight tolerances, nice finishing. There's no micro adjust, which is a problem. Um, and then the diver's ex extension. Uh, which I don't know why they decided to put on here. It is very stiff, first off. And second off, there's a little bit of a flaw here where, whoops, where if you try and close this, uh, you know, get that latched all at the same time, it doesn't want to go in. Uh, it kind of hits that part right there of the clasp and won't go in. So you got to, you kind of have to put in this, this bottom part first and then close the extension. Um, yeah, not very uh, inspiring and not a very quality feel to it they just need to get rid of that i think the clasp itself it looks fine um but uh, yeah the diver ex extension is worthless throw some micro adjust on here and everyone would be very happy um sizing is screw pins no problems there nice big chunky uh, links to this and it's a really cool look the lug width on this thing is 14 and a half millimeters i guess uh, 14 millimeters probably um, so yeah, a little bit of a bummer there. I wish they would have gone 20 millimeters, uh, but it is 14. I measured that. Um, and then it's uh, 22 millimeters at the first link here and it tapers down to 18 at the clasp. So there is a nice taper and that's kind of the, the bracelet in general. It's a very tight tolerance fit bracelet. So it doesn't fold on itself. Like I'm, that's, I'm, I'm squeezing it together. That's as, as small as it's going. So, um, yeah, really an interesting bracelet, very cool integrated kind of look to it. And I think it's really nicely done, and I think it kind of flows with the watch itself. Um, the watch head, uh, they measured it, or I saw at one point, I saw a 40 millimeters, uh, but it is definitely not 40 millimeters. It is 38 and a half millimeters. So there's 38 and a half millimeters across. It is 10.8 millimeters thick. The distance from here to here is about 47 millimeters or sorry 42 millimeters and then it's like 53 millimeters to this first link um, so it is an interesting look but i think the way that it wears is really nice um, one thing i will mention and something that i didn't even notice until after i placed my order there's two listings for this thing so there's one with this kind of airplane chronograph second hand as you can see right there it's kind of got the little wings on it right right at the bottom of my finger there um, and then there's one with just a normal chronograph second hand. I, I don't know why I didn't notice it, but I didn't notice it. So I bought this one. I wish I would have gotten the other one. Um, but yeah, it's still, I think it looks pretty good. You've got Fotina on the hands, Fotina on the dial. And this is a black sunburst. The blue is also a sunburst color. Uh, but I, I say everything is done really nicely. Got no real problems with it. Uh, one thing the listing doesn't show is how this tachymeter ring is kind of on the watch. Uh, I believe it's just a sticker on the bottom of the crystal um, because, you know, I mean, it's not, definitely not on top of the crystal, so I, I can't feel the ridge or anything like that. So it's on the bottom of the crystal, and it kind of overhangs the chapter ring or the rehow, as you can see kind of here at the 12 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting look, very interesting, very cool. Um, but, yeah, just it, it didn't show that in the, uh, the listing, uh, at least not well. So I figured I would show you guys, let you know what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I think overall, uh, the watch is actually pretty nicely done. It's very heavy, so it feels nice and solid. Um, the size I think is perfect. The finishing on this watch, 
really nicely done really just a, a smooth satin brushing on it with a little polished chamfer there and the polished chamfer does go onto this first link here and then it kind of disappears so um, I think it's done really nicely and I don't have too much to complain about as far as the finishing goes it's done it's done really good um, the dial itself a lot going on but again nicely done nicely finished and everything is crisp and clean and the loom on it is uh, it's decent for a chronograph just not good uh, when you compare it to a field watch or dive watch or anything like that um, unsigned crown which is a little bit of a disappointment uh, the crown or the button chronograph button feel um, it's okay um, the, that first click is very satisfying uh, the second click has zero feedback to it whatsoever resetting it and does the sweep back everything aligns pretty good but you will see here uh, the second hand has some slop in it so if i'm letting gravity take over on this thing you can see it's off about a half a minute maybe not quite half a minute but pretty close and then if i go that way you can see it, it flops right back to zero zero so um yeah that's a i don't know if that's just a overall quality issue or a quality control issue so um yeah that's something to be aware of it doesn't bother me too much i really wish that was nice and solid i really wish they would have chose a uh, a vk movement um and you know i know they went with this because of the day and the date but uh yeah it really would have been okay if they would have just gone with the uh with a vk with a date that's that's just me i think those movements are more solid than the miota um but it is what it is this is what we have to deal with it's 180 dollars um and I do think it's pretty cool. It's a very retro, kind of funky uh, 70s style, and I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, save the rest for the full review. Um, but I, I do like it. And um, yeah, if you are interested, I'll be leaving a link for that one down in the video description. Again, be careful which one you choose. I will link both of them, the airplane seconds or the regular one. Um, yeah, really interesting watch uh, I'm glad they went with that 38 millimeters. I'll say that. Really happy with that. Uh, I think the size is just perfect on this thing. So I think that's it for me. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.